Welcome to the Health Bulletin. Across the globe, we've tracked the emergence of mysterious illnesses, unusual health phenomena, and groundbreaking medical discoveries. Today, we are going to discuss the truth about COVID vaccines, and how the slightly rise of serious medical issues, found in a recent study, that may be associated with them. While the benefits of getting vaccinated, far outweigh the risks. But it's important to be informed, about the potential side effects and complications that could arise. COVID vaccines from companies like, Pfizer, Moderna and AstraZeneca, recently have been linked, to rare occurrences of heart, brain, and blood disorders, according to the largest vaccine study, to date. Before we move forward, if you're finding this content helpful and informative, please consider hitting the subscribe button below, and stay updated with our latest medical videos. Researchers from the Global Vaccine Data Network Analyze 99 million people, individuals who received vaccinations in eight countries, were monitored for increases in 13 medical conditions. The study link will be provided in the description below. The study, which was published in the journal Vaccine last week, found the vaccines were linked to a slight spike in neurological, blood and heart-related medical conditions. Recent research has found that COVID vaccines may be associated with rare cases of heart, brain, and blood disorders, rare cases of myocarditis, and inflammation of the heart muscle, have been reported following the administration of the first, second, and third doses of Pfizer, BioNTech's and Moderna's mRNA vaccines. Another heart condition, pericarditis, which is the inflammation of the cardiac muscle. Those who got a third dose, of AstraZeneca's viral vector shot, were found to have a risk increase of 6.9 times, according to the study. On another note, getting both the first and fourth doses, of Moderna's vaccine showed a 1.7-fold and 2.6-fold higher risk, respectively. There's been a discovery of a higher risk of a certain type of blood clot in the brain, associated with some COVID-19 vaccines. Specifically, the viral vector shots, like the one from the University of Oxford, produced by AstraZeneca, seem to have this increased risk. AstraZeneca vaccine were also found to have a 2.5 times higher chance of getting Guillain-Barre syndrome. Now, Guillain-Barre syndrome or GBS is a rare condition, where the immune system starts attacking the nerves. However, two-thirds of patients report symptoms of GBS following an infection in the six weeks preceding the onset of GBS. GBS can also be observed after infections such as COVID-19, respiratory infections, gastrointestinal infections, or Zika virus infection. Fortunately, several treatments are available to ease symptoms and reduce the duration of the illness. Researchers also discovered potential safety concerns related to transverse myelitis, an inflammation of the spinal cord following viral vector vaccines. They also observed cases of acute disseminated encephalomyelitis, which involves inflammation and swelling in the brain and spinal cord following both viral vector and mRNA vaccines. The experts at GVDV in New Zealand, a research arm of the World Health Organization, examined 13 medical conditions that they considered adverse events of special interest among the subjects, aiming to identify higher than expected cases after a vaccine. More than 13.5 billion doses have been administered worldwide since the start of the pandemic. A small proportion of those immunized were harmed by the shots, stoking debate about the benefits of the jabs versus the risks. The size of the population in this study increased the possibility of identifying rare potential vaccine safety signals. Christina Fakesova, the lead author, she further clarified that single sites or regions may not possess a large enough population to detect extremely rare signals. Many other experts have also shared this view, emphasizing that the benefits of vaccines outweigh the risks. Emphasizing that the benefits of vaccines outweigh the risks. They've pointed out the challenges of identifying rare signals in smaller populations. It's important to note that the likelihood of experiencing adverse events from vaccines is much lower than the risks associated with being infected by COVID-19, making vaccination the safer choice overall. A comprehensive study and data review have identified some rare associations between mRNA vaccines and myocarditis, particularly after the second dose, as well as a link between the Oxford-AstraZeneca adenovirus vector vaccines and Guillain-Barre syndrome. However, these risks are rare, and other studies indicate that the vaccine significantly reduces the risk of myocarditis caused by COVID-19 itself. 
It's essential to consider the side effects of vaccines, as all vaccines carry some risk. Ultimately, it's about conducting a risk-slash-benefit analysis and weighing the potential side effects of the vaccine against the risks of the virus. COVID-19 can lead to long-term complications like brain fog, fatigue, cough, and heart issues. Downplaying or exaggerating the side effects of vaccines isn't good science. Nor is underestimating the risks of the virus, especially among high-risk groups. It's crucial to approach these considerations, with a balanced perspective and prioritize public health and safety. Pfizer told the Post in a statement that while it was not involved in this study, and also they welcome independent research and academic discourse to advance the study of COVID-19. They quote safety as a top concern for all of us in Pfizer. And BioNTech take reports of side effects that are potentially associated with our COVID-19 vaccine very seriously. since its initial authorization for use in December 2020. The Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine has been administered to more than 1.5 billion people, has demonstrated a favorable safety profile in all age groups, and has helped protect against severe COVID-19 outcomes, including hospitalization and death, the company added. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more informative videos like this one.